So this is a composite Simpsons rule. Now in the course I'm teaching it this is the only version of Simpsons rule we're using but uh, just for the sake of other um, viewers this is a special variant of the Simpsons rule called the composite Simpsons rule. So essentially I've written out the function here but I'll just like state the full question here. Use Simpsons rule with four equal sub intervals that's important to find an approximation for this integral here, integral from 1 to 2 of the square root of 1 plus e to the x. Okay, something to note here is our interval uh, is the boundaries of this interval, the limits are 1 and 2. Okay, so let's just sort of look at this interval here and look at the four subintervals here, subintervals. So the limits 1 to 2, okay and we have four subintervals, so we have the number line here 1 and 2 and we're going to, the function is evaluated on this range and what we're going to do is break this up into four equal subintervals so essentially just break it up into four parts so we have these three thresholds here and uh, this is at 1.5 this is at 1.25 this is at 1.75 and so on, so what we've done here is broken our interval up into four sub intervals of equal length okay so this next bit's important uh, this is the equation there's a sort of equation for this it was actually easier to remember it sort of um, literally in a verbal sense so what we're going to do is call this uh, point here this is the first point uh, this is the last point sorry this doesn't look like an L so that's the last point okay these this is the that's the first this is the second point this is the third point this is the fourth point now this two and four are even numbers so this is an even and necessarily this is an odd so we have the first uh, these even values the odd value, uh, the, this even point, the odd points, and the last point. What we're going to do is evaluate the function at each of those points, and we're just going to sort of remember how they classify according to this: first, even, odd, or last. Okay. Anyway, that's just a side matter. So, just uh, we're just going to uh, come back to that now shortly. So, here is the um, uh, what we have to do is evaluate for each of the five points. So I'm just going to call give them Roman numerals here. The first point, the second point, the third point, the fourth point, and the fifth point. And what we're going to do is evaluate the function, this function here, which is the uh, integral what we're looking for, uh, that we're looking for. So what we're going to do is evaluate it for each point, uh, for each point. Uh, of x there that we have listed. So what we're going to do first off is just evaluate the exponential of uh, x. So the exponential of 1 is, uh, we'll just keep the two, dec uh, sorry, four decimal places. So 2.7182, or 3 actually would be a bit closer. Uh, 1.25, that would be 3.4 uh, 903. The exponential of 1.5 is 4.4817. Okay. 1.75 is 5.7546. And finally, the exponential of 2, that is 7.3890. Uh, now what we're going to do is add one to each of those values, rather a simple exercise. So this is 3.7183, 4.4903, 6 and 8.3890. Now what we're going to do is to get the square root of each of those numbers and this is again just a bit of calculator work so the square root of 3.7183 3 uh, the bit of rounding error is inevitable so don't worry about it too much I'm going to write that as 1.928 and um, I've sort of just said uh, for this, uh, 
I have, I have an answer sheet here that's actually written three decimal places. It's not too much of a big deal, but I'll just keep going out. So one, uh, 2.119, uh, 2.341, 8, 2.598, and 2.8. Nine six okay, so that's the evaluation of the function at each point. Now, what oh, what does that do for us? So the composite Simpson's rule essentially this: uh, the integral is the evaluation for the integral as the guess of it is h over three. That's in the um, the width of the subintervals. Uh, just remember that the width of the subintervals here was not point two five. Okay. So that there is not 0.25, that's the step size, the, the interval with h, or the sub-interval with h. Now what we're going to do is put in our values. Now, the sum of the even values and the sum of the odd values. So what we have to do is go back here. So um, first let's put in the first and last value. Let's do this again on a new page. So this is 0 0.25 over 3. The first value there, if you look back, was 1.928. The last value there was 2.896. Uh, okay. Now, what we're going to do is 4 times the sum of the evens. So the evens in this case were 2.119 and 2.598. Okay. So 4 times the sum of those that is equal to plus 4 times uh, 2.119 plus 2.598 okay and now 2 times the sum of the odds and this is the only odd one here okay we don't include the first or last one as an odd in for this uh, uh, algorithm so this is a uh, 2.341 so what we're going to have here is there's only one value here but it could be longer 2.341 okay so that is our integral now what we have to do is just compute it out I make that to be 0 0.25 over 3 times uh, 4.824 that's just the top line plus 18.868 that's the 4 times the sum of the um, evens plus 4.682 which is 2 times the sum of the odds just working that out the integral will work out to be 2.3645 okay so that is the Simpsons rule 2.3645 so use Simpsons rule with to find an approximation for that so we found an approximation 2.3645 Okay.